In this video, I'm going to go over how to import old invoices. We recommend not importing old invoices, but sometimes it's absolutely necessary. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can open or import old invoices and have them available, let's say in the customer portal, as well as in the customer record to see what you've previously invoiced the customer for. Usually we can import old invoices and have them marked as paid, but then once we switch the invo in, uh, invoicing threshold, then those get canceled so they don't affect your financial statements. So in this scenario, we're going to have them not affect your financial statements, but they, they will create journal entries. And we'll do this by creating some clearing accounts. The first thing we want to do is create a new journal. We're gonna call this Temp Bank, and the name doesn't matter. We're just going to call it Temp Bank. We'll give it a short code of Temp. And once we save this, Odoo will automatically create a Temp Bank account for us. Now under incoming payments, what we'll do is set the outstanding receipts account to the Temp Bank account and the outgoing payments to the Temp Bank account as well. This will allow us to skip the reconciliation process once we register a payment. It's going to automatically be marked as paid on the invoice. We're also going to go into our chart of accounts and create a new income account. We'll just call it 444444 and we'll give it an account name of Temp Income and we'll set it up type income. Now let's go over to our Excel sheet where we have a couple of invoices. And these are old invoices that we want to import. And these are for the previous financial year, 2021. So we're going to have to adjust our dates in order to make sure that these get posted in the correct year. So now we have all of our all of our lines hitting that same 444 account, even our tax line. And the reason for this is because we simply want to have the invoices displayed in the customer portal and on the customer record as paid invoices. We already accounted for all of the transactions that, or the accounting transactions that occurred inside of our trial balance when we moved it over. Um, so we don't want to count those again. So what we're going to do is simply create a manual journal entry that's going to hit our income account as well as our test bank account. And then once we post these invoices, we're going to offset that test income account. And then once we register a payment, we're going to offset the temp bank account. So we have the total here for all of the lines, which is 128,850. So let's create a manual journal entry by going to accounting journal entries and we'll click create. We'll remove the sequence. We'll add a line. The first line is going to be the income, the temp income account. We're going to debit this account for that total value. Let's remove this line and we'll add the bank account, temp bank, and we'll credit the temp bank for the 128,000. So now we have a balanced journal entry. Once we invoice or post our invoices, it's going to credit this account, essentially balancing it out. And then once we register payment to temp bank, it's going to debit that account and balance out the temp bank account. We also wanna make sure that we set the accounting date to our previous financial year because these invoices are in 2021. So let's move this over to the 31st and we can save and post. Now let's go to our balance sheet. We see we have a negative balance in our balance sheet as of 12-31-2021. And if we go to our profit and loss statement and we look at our last financial year, we'll see we have a negative income of 128,000 as well. So now what we wanna do is import those invoices. So we'll go to import records under customer invoices. We'll import those open invoices. We'll make sure that we have all of our fields set. We can test and we'll import. Now you can see that both of these invoice dates are for December. One is on the 25th and 26th of 2021. So now let's read or confirm these. And we can take a look at what happens in our profit and loss statement. As you can see for 2021, this temp bank account is, or this temp income account is now balanced. And we can go to this financial year. We don't see any accounting impacts. Now, if we go to our balance sheet, this temp bank account is still 
at negative 128 for our last financial year um, carried over to this financial year. We will now register payment for both of these invoices. So let's click register payment. Two things we want to keep in mind, we select the right journal, Temp Bank, and the payment date is going to be last year. So we'll just do the 31st and we'll create payment. Now it's automatically marked as paid because we set the outstanding payment and receipts account to the Temp Bank account. So this skips the reconciliation process. We're going to do the same thing in our other invoice. So let's register payment. We'll set this to Temp Bank and we'll set the payment date to 1231 2021. Now let's take a look at our balance sheet. As you can see, our temp bank account is now has a zero balance. If you look at last financial year, same thing. And the last thing we want to do is remove these from our financial statements. To do that, we can go into our chart of accounts. We can look for our temp, temp accounts and we can change these to off balance sheet. Now, under our profit and loss statement for 2021, we see that our income has been removed, that temp income account. This financial year, same thing. And if we go to our balance sheet, we don't see anything under our bank and cash accounts. We can even archive that journal if we want to get rid of it. So we can archive that temp bank. And now under our customers, they will see two paid invoices and you have that total amount marked on our customer. They'll also be able to see this inside of their customer portal. So this is how we can import old invoices. Keep in mind that the dates matter. Um, they can have an impact on your financial statements if you mess up the dating. And the last thing to consider is that there are journal entries that are created, which shouldn't be a problem, but just keep in mind that this is not a foolproof way. You should ask your accountant and make sure that this is okay to do.